Hello, hello, this is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalLove.com. Today I'm going to show you how to recolor a Bible verse. This is a card that I have online in the Facebook group, and I asked if you wanted to know how to recolor this because I've gotten the question a couple of times, so now we're going to do that. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to recolor a simple Bible verse. And in this one, we just make sure that we're on the layer and we go to the styles, the little FX on the bottom and choose color overlay and then choose a color. Now what happens, and I know you've had this frustrating, you wanted to color it. Let me get a little bit darker. Because your words disappear, but all you have to do is go to lighten. And there are your words again. So you could recolor it that way. And then it, when you have a card underneath it, let me go grab a card with a mat. This is the protection kit. So let's say we're going to use this card. And you grab a mat. Now you're going to have the, the blue behind it because the, these areas behind these letters are transparent. Now there is a way to do this, and I'm going to see if I can show you. Now this has a lot of little tricky areas. You use the magic wand tool, and you're going to go and select. Now if I selected an area like this outline, Hold on one second. Let me turn off the color overlay. If I just select this area here, I can go get a color and use a, uh, put a layer above it, add a new layer, and then just add that. And you can see where it worked real fine. But, let me do it again with this other color. Once you do the magic wand tool in an area like this, you're going to have a problem with some of the letters in here because it won't, well, I'll just show it to you. So I add another layer, put the, that in, see, you've got some other places. So you'd have to go in with a paintbrush and fix that. And that's real doable. Let me just show you how to do it real quick. Um, it's not a big problem. You just go in with the paint brush with the same color, zoom way in, and paint. Now here's what I do. It's a little cheat. Is I pull my layer underneath the words. So when I paint, even though I'm painting outside the lines, You can't tell, but there's another way to do it, and I'm going to try to show you that way. Control Z, Control Z, backspace, backspace. Okay, now let's try this. Let's hit, con I'm going to hit this transparent area, if I'm on the right layer. And then I'm going to go to select, select similar. Now all the transparent areas are selected, even my background. Let me show you what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer, and I'm going to fill that new layer. What you could do is group this area, group the two layers together, and then select the entire outside area and delete it. So that's another way to color it. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, let's say that you want this verse. You're just going to go to Color Overlay and Lighten. Let's put that color. Now let's say, but it's too much turquoise. A little bit of black would look better. So this is a really neat little trick. 
go to the color overlay, not the layer, but the color overlay, and click on it, then choose Create Layer. That creates a new layer. And now I go over and get my eraser tool, go on the green layer or the turquoise layer, and erase the parts that I don't want green or turquoise. And maybe the, the verse. So let me show you how I did this little house here. So I have the card that I used because I'm going to need this color. But I'm going to get rid of the card and put a white background right now so you can see it. And the verse is just the top of a house. So I'm going to show you how I did the bottom of the house. All I did was get a rectangle. I'm using the rectangle tool and the fill is blank. There's no fill. And the stroke, I have seven and a half approximately. And I just drew a rectangle. So I drag the rectangle under the house. And then I group by control, Command-G on a Mac, Control-G on a PC. And then I hit Command-E to put it all as one piece, or Control-E on a PC. So now I have one piece. And we're going to do this, but... It's all transparent, so I need to go in with the magic wand and take all the transparent pieces and turn them into this green color, which I just did by adding a new layer. So that was another way that I, that's how I made that card that color. But now I have to go back and remember you make a layer underneath the house, the color, so that you can color easily with the brush and just go in and fix these few little areas. Now I'm going to leave this God part blank underneath it because it looks real good when you put it on the card. So there's the card. Now I have to select all three of these layers and group them. Control G, Command G on a Mac, Control G on a PC, and then Command E on a Mac to form them all together, or con Command E on a PC. And then there's my card. And then I put the little girl with the uh, dog in. It was real cute. And then to finish this card off, I just put a few little flowers on the sides. Give it a pop of pink in there. And some yellow. And why not have a butterfly too? So there are three different ways that you know can recolor that I just showed you. And if you have any questions, I'll be in the Facebook group I go visit every day. So pop over and ask me if you need any help. Bye-bye for now. See you in the Facebook group.